Thank you, Honorable Minister. I have uh, many chances to uh, listen to your insights. And uh, I think uh, tonight uh, China figured prominently in this discussion. So uh, I want to take this chance to have a very brief observation about China's uh, position on China-Indian relations, because we consider China and India are the largest, uh, uh, most popular country in this world and the important neighbors. And our leaders have reached important consensus that both countries should be development opportunities instead of threats to each other. And we are partners instead of rivals to each other. So our common interest far out, outside our differences. So you have uh, in many occasions talked about that uh, China and India who are rising uh, at the same time should have found a way to handle each other. Uh, may I know that the basic uh, tenure of uh, your uh, envisaged way of how uh, India-China relations should develop? Regarding, you know, what you said about, uh, you know, a colleague from uh, China, you know, I think it's in our common interest that we should not have that many forces on the line of actual control. I think it's in our common interest that we should observe agreements that we have signed. Yeah, yeah. And I believe, and I believe today, you know, it's not just in common interest. I believe it's in China's interest as well, that this tension that we have seen for the last four years has not served either of us well, you know. So the sooner we resolve it, I genuinely believe it's good for both of us. And I'm still, you know, very much committed to finding a fair, reasonable outcome. Uh, but one which is respectful of agreements, which recognizes uh, the uh, line of actual control, which doesn't seek to change the status quo, that I think would be good for both of us.